in today's video we are going to learn about angle of contact now during practicals of chemistry you may have used burette pipette test tube constant burette reading now if you have observed the liquid which is poured in that burette or any container if that container is not so wide like beaker if it is thin like test tube or burette then you may have start seen that the liquid forms such type of shape this is called meniscus you take this meniscus reading correct liquid form what meniscus this meniscus may be concave if i add material like mercury then if you see the mercury to find temperature then that mercury forms convex meniscus mercury forms what convex meniscus why this meniscus is formed then it depends upon one term that we call as what angle of contact for the liquid now before learning angle of contact suppose there is a flat surface on which a water drop is formed like this maybe like this or maybe like this if water of sufficient density is there then this shape will be formed when water of not sufficient density is there like water uh, any liquid like sufficient density is there it will form such type of uh, shape and liquid with such uh, less density will form such type of shape now when i consider the point of contact between liquid solid and the gaps with air then how many forces are acting this is very important see here if i draw the tangent that tangent will be drawn like that so this will be the one term and this will be the another term so this angle theta i will call angle of contact here also this tangent will be drawn like this one two like this and another two like this so if i label them say this is t1 say this is t2 and this is say t3 similarly this is also t1 this is t2 and this is what t3 then this force due to surface tension which are inclined by angle theta here theta is greater than 90 that is obtuse angle here theta is less than 90 that is acute angle this theta will signify what type of angle is going to form there or this forces are going to signify so here first i will say t1 is the force of surface tension between solid and air interface t2 is the force of surface tension between liquid and solid interface whereas t3 in diagram is the force of surface tension between liquid and what air interface the same is here also now you can see this 1 and 2 or this 1 and 2 1 and 2 has to balance this third one that is t1 so t1 should be balanced by t2 but t3 should be resolved into two components like this okay it is very simple t3 is resolved into two components so this will be t3 component of t3 but this is nothing but what t2 and t3 cos theta this component will be what t3 cos theta so according to the parallelogram law or balancing of vector or resolution of vector i can get the formula like t1 equal to t2 plus t3 cos theta or t3 cos theta is equals to t1 minus t2 or t3 equal to sorry cos theta is equals to t1 minus t2 upon t3 so this value is going to decide what type of angle is going to form so on that basis if t1 greater than t2 if i take case 1 case 1 t1 greater than t2 then this is where going to be positive if this is going to be positive cos theta will be less than 90 degree so theta should be what acute if i say second condition t1 less than t2 
So this is going to be negative. When it is negative, then theta is going to be what? Obtuse. Okay. So these are some conditions that what we require to un understand the angle of contact. But yet we have not defined the angle of contact. So let's define it properly. Now suppose this is the container like beaker and I have added liquid like that. So liquid is forming such type of surface. Say this is the molecule of liquid which I have made, made properly bright here, appear dark, um, bright here. This molecule of liquid is in contact with the solid. So if I draw the tangent from that molecule to the liquid surface and the angle between this tangent drawn to the liquid surface and the solid surface this angle if I measure inside the liquid within the liquid only then this angle is called as what? angle of contact so from this angle of contact is definitely you are going to get what? acute so which condition is going to specify T1 is greater than T2 in that case the force revolution force is more towards the solid Revolution force is what? Most towards the solid. So if I label those forces with say Fa, that is adhesive force and Fc, then in this case acute angle Fa is greater than Fc. Okay. Now, say this is another type of liquid like mercury or if you feel the paraffin, then if I draw the tangent, then tangent can be drawn like that. This is the solid surface. So if I measure this angle, angle theta, angle between tangent drawn to the given point of liquid and the solid surface and the solid surface, this angle is called as what? Angle of contact. So here, if this force, this side is Fa, this side force is Fc, then Fc is more, in that case, Fc is greater than Fa and the op obtuse angle is going to form. Fc is greater than what? Fa, therefore obtuse angle is formed. So this is called as what? Angle of contact. So what is angle of contact? The angle between two things. Tangent drawn to liquid surface at the point of contact. Tangent drawn to the liquid surface at the point of contact. And the solid surface measured or calculated measure inside the liquid within liquid we are not going to measure outside the liquid eh? so we cannot consider this angle here also we cannot consider this angle we are going to measure inside liquid only up to liquid okay so this angle between the tangent drawn to the point to the liquid surface at the point of contact and the solid surface is measured within the liquid is called as what angle of contact Angle of contact has some important characteristics and this you will be required in the CET. First important characteristic is that angle of contact for given pair of solid and liquid, glass to water, the angle of contact will be constant always whatever the quantity and whatever the size of beaker. So angle of contact is constant for given solid liquid pair okay so for given pair only it is constant for example water filled in the glass and water filled in the copper beaker will not have same angle of contact so because of the solid surface is different that angle of contact will not be same second it depends upon the pressure outside free surface of the liquid it depends upon what it depends on pressure outside free surface of liquid so whatever is the pressure outside free surface on that basis angle of contact will change if atmospheric pressure is large then it will suppress and so that concave or concave surface will be formed as per the pressure third important term on which it depends is it depends upon the impurity impurities. We will consider two types of impurities. Soluble impurities increases the angle of contact. Increases value of theta. Whereas 
इनसोल्यूबल इम्प्यूरिटीज डिक्रीजेस एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट डिक्रीजेस वैल्यू ऑफ वॉट थिकर सोल्यूबल इम्प्यूरिटीज लाइक सपोज इफ यू एड शुगर इन टू द वॉटर देन इट गेट थिकर देन फिट इट इल इंक्रीजेस इन दैट केस एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज वेर एफ इन सोल्यूबल इम्प्यूरिटी इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज द एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज टेम्परेचर it depends upon the temperature it decreases with increase in the temperature decreases with temperature so if more is the temperature if temperature is increase angle of contact is what decreases these are some important characteristics of angle of contact now we have to consider two things now here i will say this entire surface is not Get wet because of liquid. Yeah, ya surface ne ya yeah, itla liquid surface ne solid la purna pani ola kele na. Therefore, yeh orda formula la ola kele. So I will call this case for liquid which partially wet solid. If solid surface is partially wet by liquid, then angle of contact is what acute. In that case. adhesive force of solid is greater than cohesive force of liquid the liquid which do not wet this will not cause the wet evda apekshit hota pan ita this much of vacancy is there then liquid which do not wet the solid angle of contact is what obtuse in that case fa is less than fc or fc mhanje ita liquid ta molecule ne ana ikade odun ghetlela asta and so that it forms with type of shape this type of shape okay now these are some important characteristics remember the first kind of characteristics is very important angle of contact the value remains constant for given solid and liquid pair it doesn't change if that pair remaining in the same material but increase in the size or decrease in the size but it changes with the change in the material pressure outside free surface of liquid okay impurities impurities causes changes in the angle of contact first type of impurity that is soluble impurity when soluble impurity is there angle of contact increases when so insoluble impurity is there angle of contact what decreases and the finally the temperature when temperature of liquid increases the angle of contact is decreases this we are going to understood in this article i hope you understood this article very well thanks for watching mahaparka.co.in have a nice day